Okay guys, so this is our beginner handstand tutorial. So I'm gonna take you through three of the, in my opinion, the best exercises that you can focus on. If you don't have a lot of time to focus on um, handstands, then doing these three drills is going to really get some more bang for your buck. The first thing I wanted to talk about though is handstands in general. So sometimes, Handstands can take a very, very long time to develop. Everyone learns a skill at different speeds, but just so you know, the more consistent that you can be, the better it will be for you in terms of achieving goals more quickly. Um, now, consistent doesn't mean that you have to spend two hours every single day. In fact, at the beginning, your wrists probably won't allow that anyway, but it does mean doing as much as you can as often as you can. So that might be half an hour every week at the beginning and it might slowly build up over time. But just keep that in mind that the more consistent you can be, even if it's 10 minutes a day, the more quickly you will make progress and the more you'll find time for it. The second thing I wanna talk about is your wrists and your shoulders. So we don't put a lot of weight through our wrists, obviously, we don't go around walking walking on them. Um, so it's really important that you do warm up your wrists first. I do have some wrist tutorials on my YouTube as well, so you can have a look at those. I don't wanna spend all the time in this one going through that, but um, definitely make sure you warm up your wrists and your shoulders. Um, if you have questions about that, uh, about specifics, definitely send me a message and it could potentially be the next series that I do. So I'm warmed up, I've already trained, so we're gonna get straight into it. So the first one is the old chest to wall handstand. Now this one is um, something that you want to build up to around 60 seconds. So you can hold chest to wall nice and close in a good line for 60 seconds. Once you can achieve that, you know that you're developing some decent amount of strength. I'm going to take you through a few levels of it because often people get scared getting very close to the wall and that's fair enough. There's a few things we want to note. We don't want our hands too wide apart. You want to have them stacked as closely as you can over your shoulders, okay? So we don't want them too wide like this, so bringing them in a little. The second thing is that if you are terrified of getting very close to the wall, totally understandable, and what we're going to do is practice bailing. So we're going to practice actually bailing to the side. So I'll show you one of those first, and then I'm going to show you the different stages if you are scared to get too close to the wall. So let's say I'm doing my nose to wall and I'm going to bail, so I'm going to come out of it because one thing you've got to learn is that handstands will always end. <laughs> You're always going to come down. So you have to be confident and comfortable coming out of it. So I'm going to go into my nose to wall handstand now. So I'm all the way up. We'll talk about form in a minute. And when I'm ready to come down, for me, I bail to my left. So I'm going to turn my left hand out to the side and cartwheel down. So. You can, of course, also walk your hands back out, but you'll need more energy to do that. So getting comfortable with that is a very important step. So if you're not, I suggest practicing bailing from your handstand. Okay, now let's talk nose to wall. So a couple of different levels. We can start here. That is totally, totally fine. The only thing I want to be aware of in this position, we don't wanna be sagging our butt down like that. So coming up. Ideally, you would get in closer and get to a point that you can actually stack your hips over your shoulders. This might also be quite scary though. The other thing is where we're looking. We wanna always be looking between our hands. Now, if you can get a bit closer, that's great. Same thing, looking between your thumbs, not leaning on the wall like this. Everything's out and nice and strong. When you're all the way in, that's awesome. What we're gonna think about, nothing on the wall apart from our toes. We're pushing the floor away as much as we can. I'm trying to hide my ears between my hands and I'm looking at the floor between my thumbs. So I'm not looking at it with my face, just looking at it with my eyes. So I'm looking up through my eyebrows at the floor. When I'm ready to come down, turn and come down. One of the biggest tools that you can have for handstands is a metronome. Heaps of them free on the internet, uh, in the app store, and a timer or both. Um, I like to use the timer on my Apple Watch for holds. Just set it to one minute, and then when it buzzes, I know it's time to come down. So the next drill that we're gonna do are heel pulls. Heel pulls, heel pulls, in my opinion, are very valuable because you'll learn how to push through your fingers, use your forearms in order to save yourself. So we're gonna kick up to the wall, our heels are on the wall. We wanna be nice and close, and then we're gonna use our fingers and push into the floor very, very slowly, our heels are going to float away from the wall. 
When they do, we want to try to maintain that balance trying to resist the bounce. I guarantee the first time you do it, you will probably bounce if you haven't done them before. So I'll show you what they look like. So we're gonna kick up, hands nice and close to the wall. From here, I'm nice and tight. I'm gonna push my fingertips into the ground and you'll notice my heels just very slowly float away. I don't take my feet apart. I don't bounce them off the wall at all. They just gently float off. And from there, I'm just trying to maintain that balance. If you need, go back to the wall, start again. We don't want this, okay? That's no good. It's not going to benefit you at all. So nice and tight, as frustrating as they are, pushing the fingers into the floor, and then the heels will just float away, then find that balance and hold it. So that's a heel pull, um, very, very beneficial. Aim for those ones to sort of accrue about 30 seconds or accumulate balance time. So doing the heel pull when it balances, this is where the metronome comes in handy. You count your ticks, count until you've reached 30 seconds. Obviously, each time you go back to the wall, you say you balance for five seconds one time, go back to the wall, next time you might balance for three, so that's eight seconds. So you keep going until you accumulate 30 seconds of balance. Metronome set it to 60 beats per minute, so it's beeping one beat every minute, uh, every second, sorry. And the last one is just donkey kicks. So with our donkey kicks, this is to learn how to kick up away from the wall, but the goal here isn't to get into a straight handstand. The goal is to just find a little bit of float and find a little bit of balance. So we're gonna start with our hands on the ground. First thing we're gonna do is stack your shoulders over your wrists. From here, for me, I kick off my right foot. So I bring my right foot nice and close, and then I kick up, keep my feet apart, and that's all we're doing. Coming up, we're just trying to feel that little float at the top and get the hips to balance and stack above the shoulders and coming back down. Notice I didn't put my feet together at the top. When you do put your feet together, it makes it a lot harder. So keeping them apart will make it a lot easier. 